What is up everybody? Today we are going to be continuing our series for Road to Fund a Trader uh, on the uh, MT5 platform for Ultra Capital and we are going to be trading in the foreign exchange market. So let's get into our charts here and see if we're going to be placing any trades. Uh, this week has been pretty slow. Uh, we did not place any trades this week. We closed out on all of our trades and we're going to take a look and see if we're going to have any trades open uh, over the weekend. So it's about 25 minutes till the daily candle closes and we're going to take a look through our charts so of course we have our uh, no-nonsense forex strategy and just as a recap we have our camera moving average with the ATR bands we have the Damiani volume indicator we have the copy curve uh, as our C2 our Rex oscillator as our exit indicator and of course our vortex as our C1 uh, so we're going to be taking a look and seeing if we're going to be placing any trades today uh, so we just take a look at our two line uh, cross, which as our vortex, uh, it looks like majority of the news events have already been completed for this week. Um, there was a lot of news events that kept me out of a couple of trades, uh, but it looks like most of them are over. So we don't really have to worry about that too much. Uh, but let's keep going and seeing what we have going on. So we have Euro dollar. We're not going to be placing trade on and we'll just go through here. So you know, um, USDJPY, so our um, volume indicator Damiani is keeping us out of that one. Uh, GDP USD, and we're just going to be flipping really quickly here along. Uh, so on this trade, uh, we are not going to be trading uh, the USD CAD because our price is actually outside of our ATR bands, and so this is not going to be a trade. So we can just keep going along here and taking a look. Euro GBP. Uh, so this one here, uh, let's take a look. So our vortex signaled right at this candle here. Uh, so we have one right there. Uh, so this is actually a really interesting one here. So our system is telling us to go, but if you look at the Rex oscillator here, which is our exit indicator, it actually told us that um, this should be the time that we should be exiting the trade if we were to have gotten in a little bit sooner. Uh, so are we going to be placing this trade? Well, the answer is yes, because we don't use uh, the Rex oscillator as a confirmation indicator. We use Rex as an exit indicator only. So we look at our confirmation indicator, which is our Copic curve, uh, and that's giving us the go ahead. So of course, Copic curve is a zero line cross, and it's giving us the positive value. Uh, the vortex is also giving us the go ahead. Damiani is saying yes, and price currently looks like it's above baseline but it's within the ATR bands. So we're actually going to be placing a long trade on Euro GBP. So what I'm going to do is bring up our MT5 platform now, which is where we actually uh, place the trades right here. And we are going to be going long on Euro GBP. So I can just look at market watch and scroll down. to the Euro GBP and just bring this over. Okay, there it is. Uh, so now that I have the chart, I can simply put my uh, trade assistant on here. Uh, so this is of course our expert advisor that we got from Firewhite. Uh, it's actually no monthly charge for the basic version which we're using. And so this is just going to do a risk calculator so that I don't have to manually adjust the take profit, stop loss, and lot size. So of course we're only going to be risking 1% per trade because we're trading a prop fund account. And because we don't want to go over the 8% drawdown, we are going to be placing a buy order with 1%. And if all goes well, we should have two trades opening. Yes, so we have two trades open now. So as you can see, we started off with uh, 62.50 and our balance has gone up from 62.50 to 62.72 uh, because of the trades that we had last week. Uh, so this is a long position and 
Yes, so this is going to be it. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue looking at our MT4 charts and seeing if we are going to be placing uh, any more trades now. Uh, so we can just keep going here. Cat JPY. Okay, so this is another interesting one here. So um, we have the vortex indicator that is giving us the go ahead, our volume indicator as well. Um, however, the price is actually outside of the ATR bands and the copic curve here um, is just under uh, the zero. It's just negative right now. So if this was to change in the next 10 minutes or so, we could look to hold off on this trade to see if the Copic curve will go positive for a long position. However, because price is above the ATR and outside of the ATR bands, uh, we're actually not gonna be placing the trade. But if price was within the ATR bands, I would actually hold off for about 10 more minutes because it looks like Copic curve is like just on, uh, just below the zero mark. Uh, so we would, we would just wait for about 10 more minutes to see if it gives us a go ahead for that trade. Um, but yeah, as of right now, we won't be placing that trade. Uh, so EuroCAD, keep going. Yeah, we had a lot of major news events this week, but it looks like they've all kind of ended uh, on Friday. So we're just gonna keep going through. Okay, uh, so again, this is another one here where uh, price is below our baseline and our copy curve isn't giving us a signal to go ahead, so we're not gonna be trading here. All right, so that's it. We placed one trade today on the um, pair for Euro GBP. Uh, so we're going to take a look at this now on Monday to see uh, whether or not we have to adjust it. So if we need to exit based off of any news indicator, uh, news filter, um, or if our uh, exit indicator tells us to exit the trade. Uh, so anyway, uh, that is going to be it today. It was a relatively short video. Uh, let me know what you guys would like me to cover in the comments below. And as always, have a good day. Mm -hmm.